Hello, my name is Tomáš and I'm from Capturing Reality. In this episode we will take a look at multiple reports options in Reality Capture. I will show you how to create map and overview reports and share them on our cloud. After that I will show you where you can find them on our website and how to navigate through them. Then we'll take a look on basics of creating orthographic projections which is required for creating map reports. You can use these features when you want to inform your client about your progress or for consultations with remotely working colleagues and so on. In this episode we will use our dataset for mapping use cases. Let's go to reality capture. As you can see here in the upper right corner, I am using the application in PPI mode. This dataset is already licensed with PPI credits. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download this free dataset now and use it with Reality Capture for free. Links are in the description below. Let me show you what you will get. These 482 images were captured with drone using Phantom 4 Pro. I've already drag and drop the dataset from the link in the description, main alignment, meshing and texturing. Reality Capture has a feature to create reports for quite a long time. You can find this feature under workflow tab, then going to export section and click on reports. In this dialog window are overview report, selected component report, selected auto projection report, selected model report, type point report and map report. Selected Auto Projection Report and Map Report are grayed out because I haven't created any auto projection yet. If you want to learn more about these various reports, you can find them in the Help section. You can open Help by pressing F1. Additionally, you can find it by clicking and holding left mouse button, hovering over Help, and releasing left mouse button. Now you just type what you are searching for. In this case, let's click on First Suggestion for Reports. You can read more about this topic here. Let's go back to export reports dialog and save overview report. Click on overview report and now save this file locally or externally on your server. As you can see it will create a htm file. Ok, this is overview report. Here are many useful information about my project and its stats. Other option is to use share feature with our cloud functionality. Now you don't have to upload and send this htm file via third party sharing service. You can now use our share feature to store it on our cloud for free and then share it through URL link. Files will be stored on our cloud for 7 days for free. Share button is located in the workflow tab, then going to export section. Once you click on share button, new dialog window will pop up. As you can see, you can choose from upload to Sketchfab, share map report or overview report. Let's create an overview report first. By default, the report name is based on project name, but you can rename it as you need. I will rename mine to overview report. Ok, let's create it. Sharing report dialog appears and after uploading is finished, your report will be automatically open in the default browser. Now I can copy and paste this URL and send it to my client or colleague. Let's go back to share dialog. You can see share map report is grayed out. In order to create one, we have to create orthographic projection first. You can create one by going to reconstruction tab and under tools you will find auto projection tool. When clicking on this tool auto projection settings appears at the bottom left corner. Map reports can only be generated for georeferenced auto projections of a type top or GPS in order to display them correctly on map. You can also increase resolution by increasing width, height or by decreasing auto pixel size. I am ok with these settings so let's press render. Now press Ctrl S to save your progress. Ok, since auto projection is created, I can now create and share map report. Let's go to share under export section and press map report. Map report will appear in the default browser. Your orthographic projection is displayed on Google map. Here you can toggle between satellite and terrain map. In the bottom right corner you can find tools for creating point of interest, measuring distances, Measuring areas,
On the left side, you can see a list of used images, ground control points with errors, auto projections and a list of created annotations. You can also enable displaying image layer and altitude layer as you can see here. You can also define its transparency. Now let's play a bit with these tools. But what happens if you lose the URL link? You can find it after you log in on capturingreality.com. After that, let's go to My Reality, then click on Cloud Reports. Here you can find a list of your saved cloud reports, file sizes and expiration date. When you click on desired cloud report screen, URL will appear under the list. Ok, let's recap what we have learned today. You have learned how to create overview reports, basics of creating auto projections, creating map report and sharing them through URL, navigating and using map report, and finding cloud reports on capturingreality.com. If you liked this episode, please like, subscribe and comment what you want to see next. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. I am Tomáš and thank you for using Reality Capture.